Hi guys, uh, welcome to a new video. Um, I'm sitting on my bed for this one, don't know if you've noticed that because I'm in front of my wall because I wanted to show you this portrait quickly which I got from Amy Howard. It's uh, Missy and Gizmo. I'm trying to get it so the light's not reflecting. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to show you that quickly. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a new video I decided I'm gonna gonna do um showing you all the pieces of art that i have started and not finished i'm i'm quite bad for starting things and not finishing them um i just seem to have an idea start it and then run out of time because i've got too many commissions on and never get a chance to finish stuff so this is mainly wildlife commissions or wildlife portraits not commissions but yeah, I'm just going to get <laughs> straight in and show you all of the things I haven't finished. Also, Assistant Bean is here, look. Bean and Bean! <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get on and just show you everything that I haven't finished. There's a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. See you in a minute. So this is the pile of things I haven't finished. You can see how many pieces there are. It's quite shameful how much I haven't finished. Um, but yeah, it's usually a case of I'll start it and then I've got so many commissions I run out of time. I have a few things here and I'm gonna just go through. <laughs> so this is the lovely Gigi. Uh, he is my friend's cat. Um, I do want to finish him, I will be finishing him because he's absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to be entering him in an exhibition I'm doing in a couple of months so um, he is absolutely gorgeous and I love how his eye came out so there's him pretty much all of these pieces are done in polychromos, luminance and pablos um, and they are mostly done on Saunders Waterford um, 140 or 300 pound hot pressed watercolour paper. There's a few other papers in here and you can tell the difference because they're kind of strange looking. Um, but yeah, so that's Gigi. Next up I have this little fox piece. He's 11 by 14. He is a Patreon um, tutorial series that I kind of started on him and then just wasn't feeling it so I stopped and made a new tutorial for Patreon. This is Highland Cow, his name is Angus. Um, <laughs> my mum has badly injured her shoulder and has been signed off work so um, she asked me to draw her a Highland Cow. So this is Angus, he will also be going in the exhibition um, and the picture for this, the reference is from the amazing Paul Fine photography. So that's Angus. Next up I have this lilac breasted roller from uh, Russ Bridges, another amazing photographer. Um, love this piece, he's also going in the exhibition. So um, I'll be finishing him and doing a video in the next couple of weeks so you can see him. Next is another Highland cow. Um, can't remember who the photographer for this is. I think I got it off Pixabay, but he's just sitting down. Um, so that's that one. I also have this piece. This is a commission, which I only started last week. Um, of a little otter. So everyone who played the Guess That Eye game on my Instagram and my Facebook page who guessed otter, you were right, and I will be messaging you with messaging you with your prizes. Next up is another wildlife commission. This is just an outline and um, I'll be doing him soon of a zebra. I believe this is another reference from Paul Fine Photography. If it's not and it's by someone else I'll put their page down below. Um, but I think it is Paul Fine. Um, it's another wildlife commission which I'm really excited to do. Paul Fine is one of my favourite photographers for references. Him and Russ Bridges are both incredible and yeah they're awesome so that's from him then i have tula which is so close to being finished she almost looks finished but this is tula um she is a main coon cat for a girl with autism 
I have done another video on her. I need to finish the top of her head. That's about it, just this little patch here. Um, but any prints, or once I've done and I'll be making prints from her, she will then be a, I'll be gifting the original to Tula and her mum and then um, any money raised from the prints I'll be giving a big chunk to um, autism charities so that's why I started this one I might actually finish her today because I don't think it'll take that long but she's been going for quite a while so yeah I'll probably do that today next up I have Rex who is a fire detective dog I think he does something for the firemen um, but yeah he was really cute I was trying out some new techniques um, and I really like how the way the way his fur started to come out. I was trying some new different bits and pieces, so I need to finish him and then I'll be giving him to the fire station. Uh, this one is a rag doll who I started and um, was really happy with her eye and then the fur just started to look really strange. So I put it to the side and haven't finished it. Um, I may retry because I've learned a lot since I started this one, so it will be a lot different. Next up, <laughs> need to finish this one because people always ask me, do I have a unicorn? So this is, um, I can't remember what I called it, but yeah, this is my unicorn piece. Um, this was before I had a lot of bright coloured pencils in Luminance or Polychromos, so I was using Prisma colours on her main and the flowers and the mushrooms and they look awful i really hate using prisma colors so i may completely restart this one um yeah i think i'm going to completely restart you can see like how shiny it is from the wax so i'll probably completely restart this one um and then do more prints with <laughs> Next up, this one's just a little frame that I started. Um, I did want to put something in the frame, but I couldn't think of what. So it's just stayed as a frame for now. Next one is to, this is for my friend. This was when I first started using colored pencils and I really don't like how it came out. So I'll probably restart this, but this is Phoenix and Snowball. So I will do this at some point because is quite important um but i didn't know enough about drawing horses so i wasn't happy with how it was coming out but that's that next i have a robin this i started in i'm gonna say 2016 2015 um it was going to be my christmas card design this was back when i hated drawing birds <laughs> So decided I wasn't going to do it and left it outlined and shoved it in my cupboard to ignore. So that's that one. Um, next I had an idea to do um, a bunch of portraits where they were sort of half of a face just mainly focusing on the eye. Um, this is reference was one I took myself of a little ring tail. Was it a ring tail? No, it was a rough tailed lemur. Um, so he was cute. I'll probably finish these at some point because I think a bunch of them lined up would make a good little series next i have this doe i can't remember who took this picture i think it was paul sawford i'm not sure again this was when i started when i'd only just sort of started using colored pencils possibly 2016 beginning of 2017 um and i'm just in general really unhappy with how it was going texture wise and things like that it didn't look that good so I left it next up I have my Laloon series so these were a series I started which focused on an animal looking up at a moth these were all different kinds and I had six planned some tigers then there was a leopard cub red panda and what was the last one i think it was there was, i think there was three tigers a red leopard uh, three tigers a leopard cub a red panda 
And then I think there was possibly a lion cub as well. But this was the first one. Again, back when I first started, didn't like this paper um, either. This is the Fabriano Artistico, but it's the really thick one. Um, I didn't like how this came out at all. Like the first stopped looking white and just looked really grey and wasn't happy with it. So shoved him in the cupboard. Um, I will finish this series at some point because I love the idea of it. This was the second piece in the series, which was another little tiger cub. And I hadn't decided on what type of moth he was going to look at. Um, but something probably like an emperor or an oak moth, I think, would look nice. Um, so that's him. I think the next one is also a note. So this is... <laughs> Bean, can you see it? Bean, come the way. So last year I was artist in resident at a country show and I had to take a bunch of pieces and I started this owl piece and um, there was a video on my channel of me doing the eyes on this one um it was really tricky but i really liked the reference um so that one went in my cupboard um i also have wildfire here this gorgeous little red squirrel i started her for the country show last year as well um i never finished it maybe tail out the way um but she's really cute there's a video on my channel of her as well and then I think this is no nope, there's two left so this is a reference definitely by Paul Sawford he's incredible um another stag uh they are one of my favorite animals so I have quite a few pieces of them um but this one was sitting in the grass by a river and looked gorgeous but I hadn't tried drawing stag fur before and it was quite difficult so <laughs> that's why that one didn't get finished and the last one is this pheasant drawing again for the country show last year um yeah it's a big pheasant <laughs> um i put him on that side because i thought his tail was going to end up being longer but it wasn't but that's him i might try and do him for the country show this year as well because i'm artist in residence at that again um which is quite exciting <laughs> um but yeah, that's about it for things I haven't finished that aren't commissions. I do have my giant double... Oh, actually, I'm going to see if I can show you that. One second. So this is my giant stag drawing, which I wanted to show off. King, because they're my fav one of my favourite animals. So I found this reference. Um, this one is by Paul Salford. Um, he is an amazing photographer. <laughs> But these are my stags. <laughs> so these are a huge 18 and a half by 22 inches. So they are massive. I have to sit them behind my desk when I'm working and they are like up against the wall behind my computer. Otherwise they don't fit anywhere else. But it's two rutting red stags. I'm really happy with this bit here around where his antler joins his head and I'm quite happy with his ear too um but these take ages and I never have time to work on them but that is that and I think that is everyone I've got a couple of other pieces which I'm not going to show you because they are top secret stuff um which I'm working on and I don't want to reveal them to everyone at the moment so so yeah that's all the stuff I haven't finished I told you there was a lot but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this little glimpse into my hoarding of unfinished artwork um, a lot of the little pieces that I showed at the beginning um, these sorts of the otter the roller hanging cow um, are ones I'm gonna finish pretty quickly um, the highland cow because I need them for my exhibition so they are my to go to ones um, I also have my kingfisher drawing grace I am redoing um, another piece for the exhibition and also for Patreon tutorial series so if you are interested in learning how to draw a kingfisher bird you can check that out in the link that is at the bottom of the screen also I would love to know if you have any 
drawings or how many drawings you have that you haven't finished and also which ones you would like to see me finish from this lot <laughs> but if you like this video please give it a little thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye